Welcome. You have entered another movie review. With movie fun with Imperial. Today's movie review will be Deadpool 2. Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Marvel has had, since 2018, Marvel has had a, a very successful year with the start of Black Panther on to Avengers 3, Infinity War. Now, Deadpool 2. And, um, actor Josh Brolin has been a part of two movies now. He was Thanos. He played Thanos in Infinity War, Avengers 3. Then he's playing Cable in Deadpool 2. Now, uh, I just don't understand why as many actors in the world and stuff like that why they can't get other actors to play different roles if you're going to already be in one movie why not get a whole nother actor to play the role of another character why use the same actor that that part i don't get no knock to josh brolin but you know somebody else could have played cable or whatever even though he did a good job um, the storyline of this Deadpool 2 is just basically picking up off of Deadpool 1. Um, Ryan Reynolds was made for this role. Uh, if you a fan of Ryan Reynolds in his earlier films, uh, his uh, quirky punchlines and commentary and the things he say sarcasm is all made for this Deadpool character. Over the years when I used to play uh, video games and the Deadpool character would pop up on the screen in the video game he would be like a, uh, have like a you know little dumb comments. We always looked at him as like a, a poor version of Spider-Man. That's what we looked at him as. Because we really didn't know much about them until the actual movie came out. So, I mean, now uh, you got Deadpool 2. And it's basically just picking up off of part one where it's not much of a storyline with this one. It's, you know, picking up off of part one and they just going through the motions. He's in, he's uh, an assassin pretty much picking assassinating the bad guys that other people are not willing to go after and he goes after them and his love for the girl um, his his girlfriend from part one and one of the bad guys that he tried to kill he was unsuccessful found out who he is and where he lives and came to kill him in the process of that killed his girlfriend so that's pretty much the plot of the story uh and him redemption and killing her i mean killing the guy who killed her and he goes on the trials and tribulations now in come cable he's coming from the future where he is coming back in the past so to change the future so he's trying to stop the guy in the future who kills his family needless to say from the commercials the guy in the future grows up to become that guy but he starts off in the present day with Deadpool and them as a kid um, who's been uh, ostracized from society no family um, he has these powers he's uh, inside of some type of mutant rebuil rehabilitation camp for kids and they're torturing the kids so he's acting out 
and uh, in comes um, Deadpool along with Colossus. So uh, the storyline goes from there. Different journeys throughout the store. I don't want to give up the movie just uh, scene by scene. But in a nutshell, the bright spots of the movie was um, Juggernaut. I mean, I didn't even, I must, I didn't read up on this movie before I went to go see it. So uh, when I seen that. When they was in the, the mutant prison, there was some big holding tank. And I didn't even think about who, who that could have been. I knew it was coming. And come to find out it was Juggernaut. So that was pretty cool to see Juggernaut in the movie. Um, I mean, I know Juggernaut was in the other movies. He was in that, uh, I think it was X-Men 3. They had a variation of Juggernaut. However... The difference with this Juggernaut, they made Juggernaut in this one more like the realistic Juggernaut. The other Juggernaut, he was they basically a man, but they used the CGI in this in this film so that it made Juggernaut truly like who he is, a uh, huge um, specimen being versus in the other one was just like a regular man with the iron suit he had the powers but this one you could say okay yeah that's juggernaut he can run through walls and it's really not it's hard to stop him and those of you who don't know uh juggernaut wears that big helmet because his brother which is professor x you know so that professor x can't get into his head or whatever that protects him that big helmet thing he wears or whatever and uh so that was that was that was a bright spot to see juggernaut and then juggernaut colossus with all that metal that colossus got you get to see juggernaut and colossus get into a tussle that was that was a bright spot other than that you have to live with ryan reynolds uh carrying the movie but other than that, the storyline wasn't all that great. Uh, I don't know. It's like they just were going off the wave of Black Panther, Infinity War. We got Deadpool coming. And it's just going to sell just because we on a roll. But the storyline could have been better. Of course, Ryan Reynolds makes reference to everything. He makes reference to all, all things. Um... And even he, he, when he was fighting Cable, he made a reference to, told Cable he was pretty much like Thanos. So, um, you know, that's, that's the bright moments. Other than that, uh, there are two post credits, um, in here. You don't have to wait to the very end of the movie. They're kind of pretty early. The post credits is pretty much, uh... The time travel um, cables time travel device he was only allowed to go back and then use it again to go back to the future go back into the past and then use it again to go back in the future and he used it to save uh, Deadpool so he's not dead or whatever but instead that diffused it but then the X, uh, the young X, X Men uh, characters, they fixed it and pretty much allowed Deadpool to go back, which is funny because he went to go right his wrong. So he saved his girl, and also he went back to the Wolverine X Men originals, the first Wolverine where they had the original Deadpool when they was making him, and when that was like the stupidest thing in that movie that they could have made the writing was terrible with that so he wouldn't kill that character off basically to say that was that was bogus i don't know what they were thinking about doing with that um he showed himself where he was reading the script for um green lantern 
and said I made it to the big times and he killed his his self off or whatever. So that was like a funny bright spot of going back in time. Other than that, man, uh they I don't know if they didn't have a um where to go with this movie. So they just wrote a script going off the hype of part one is Deadpool. Everybody liked it, Deadpool one and just put a story out there and, and flow with it. Um, cameo spot by Terry Crews on there wasn't really bright, but it was, you know, he was there. So, uh, out of my four star rating system, I gotta give this a 2.5. Kind of disappointed in the movie. 2.5 out of four stars. Um, it's, it's an okay movie to watch. Nothing special. I guess coming off of Black Panther and, and Infinity War, so. I'm going to give this a 2.5 out of 4 stars. Till next time.